Good morning. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna film today, but honestly, I haven't filmed in a while. I've kind of just been like filming little tidbits here and there, and I haven't really like talked to the camera much and expressed my feelings. <laughs> and it is Pisces season now, so I feel like I have a lot of feelings to express. Um, but I never like to force anything. I just like to let it come and go as it pleases, you know, obviously. Um, but sometimes it feels very therapeutic for me to talk to you, the camera, and my little community that I have going now. Um, actually, I've been feeling so, so grateful because, I mean, I obviously don't have a lot of people, like, watching me right now. Um, and that's fine, like, I'm a very small channel, but I do have a few people commenting, like, kind of regularly, and that just means so much to me, and... Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. It makes me happy, so thank you. <laughs> but I wanted to show you my delicious breakfast. I just blended up one and a half bananas, big ones, with a little water, salt, vanilla, and then I covered it in peanut butter, maple syrup, and I made a little like granola thing recently with like dates and oats. So yummy. I'm quite excited because when I went to the store today, I picked up some seeds. I got chamomile. Um, oh, I'm mostly excited about this, nasturtium. Hey, Ronco. I watched someone on YouTube who makes, he cooks, and his name's Gaz Oakley. He's one of my favorite like cooks I've ever found online. I've been following him for a long time. But he's super into gardening now and he grows nasturtium flowers in his garden and he's always topping off his dishes with nasturtium flower and leaves. And I think that looks beautiful. And I'm also excited to taste them. I got lavender, pretty standard. I also heard that if you plant lavender around your garden, it will deter woodchucks, which we have woodchucks in our yard for sure. And then I got chamomile. Last year I tried to grow this. I'm not sure what happened. Um, I planted this in a pot outside in the garden and it came up a little bit but then it just died. I'm not really sure what happened. So I got a couple packages just to really make sure I did it. And then I also got some potting soil because I can finally pot this big boy. Chuck is his name. But I found a pot on the side of the road that was just about the perfect size for um, this plant, and it was free. I mean, the whole reason I haven't planted it yet is because I haven't wanted to pay for the pot because I knew it was gonna be like pretty expensive, you know, for a big one. So that was lucky. <laughs> Sometimes if you wait for several, several months, things will appear to you. <laughs> Something that I'm really looking forward to in these warmer days. Um, something that I've always really craved to do is to like wake up super early and bring my little, or even have a campfire or bring my little camp stove and just make like a warm cup of tea and watch the sunrise somewhere. I've been craving that so much. Me and Tom watched the sunrise a little while ago, but it was really cold and the sun took forever to come over the mountain, so we didn't really fully get to watch it. It was still like in the winter days, but yeah, I really want to take advantage of all the daylight that we're going to get. I feel like I really take it for granted. Um, but I'm just excited to be outside more. I really want to like cook on the fire a lot this year. I want to get some nice like cast iron cookware, make stuff on the fire. I want to bake. I would love to bake on the fire. I've seen a lot of people doing that on YouTube and it's so cool. So there's a lot of things I'm really excited about this year. I just want to do like simple outdoor activities that bring me joy. <laughs>
A way that I like to store my herbs and greens is wrapped in a damp kitchen towel and then put that inside a plastic bag. And I think they keep for a lot longer than if they were just in a plastic bag. Buddy okay? Yeah, I don't know. I think he like scared himself over there. Scared by the woman with an axe. <laughs> don't let me, buddy boy. In the sun, huh, buddy boy. I said, dang, it's hot in here now. But you're going to be in the video too. Really, all they found was like bits and pieces, and then his head. Mm -hmm. 
I liked in the movie they find like a scene like that where it's like a 30 foot wide circle of blood. Yeah. And Samuel just like lays a blanket over like one little section, yeah. but it's still like this huge blood spot. Yeah. He like puts it over the guy's like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So That's like. Why that? How how do. You